T680 from Kenworth started turning heads the day it was launched at the Mid-America Trucking Show back in 2012. Two years later, with 15,000 units in service, the T680 represents half of all of Kenworth's production here in Chillicothe, Ohio. It's clearly been a very popular truck with fuel-conscious fleets and owner-operators. Hi, I'm Jim Park with today's Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive Series. We're out here in Chillicothe, Ohio today with the new Kenworth T680 Advantage Package. This year, Kenworth added the Advantage Package to the T680, a bundle of aerodynamic and powertrain enhancements the company says should improve fuel economy by up to 5%. So let's go have a look at some of the enhancements they've made to the T680. So when Kenworth started out with the T680, they were after the most aerodynamic frontal profile possible. And you'll notice there's several spots in the truck where they've sculpted the shape of the body. That's all to direct air and wind over the truck in the most efficient manner possible. The mirrors, you'll notice as well, have been sculpted to keep air going around the mirror smoothly, as well as to keep rain and snow and stuff from building up behind the mirror on the glass so that uh, it obstructs the driver's vision. Let's have a look at what they've done with the front of the truck here, starting with these new air dams on the front bumper. So right down here at the front of the truck, we have this rubber air dam. It's, it's an effective way of rooting the air from what normally would go under the truck to around the front wheel and getting the air flowing in a certain direction to meet up with the rest of the aerodynamic fittings on the side of the truck. It's easily, it's rubber, it's flexible, so if you catch a curb or something with it, it's not going to destroy it. As the air moves back along this part of the side fairing, it's sculpted as well. Two things here, one to maintain some stiffness so it doesn't rattle and bang in the wind, also to sculpt the airflow eventually around the drive wheels. This whole piece here is one single piece. It's relatively easy to remove, and if you're in an accident and it's damaged, then you're only replacing this one center section. You're not doing the entire side of the truck. Down below this, you'll see we have a rubber, again, soft and flexible, extender on these uh, side skirts. The idea there, of course, is to keep as much air as possible out from under the truck, functioning more or less in the same way the uh, side skirts do on a trailer. This piece here, again, a single piece designed to be relatively inexpensive to replace. Um, it's sculpted in such a way that it's twisted or bent outwards right here to some degree. Again, the idea is to sculpt the airflow around the wheels and to get it from uh, getting trapped in that area. We've got the sculpting here as well, which follows the front panel. And we've got this uh, under rubber skirt extender below it. Before we leave the side of the truck here, I want to draw your attention to this cab extender. This is hard metal, painted, looks good as part of the truck. And because these are easily damaged in a backing maneuver, what Kenworth has done is extended this using a flexible material, much further back than they would go with the metal, and minimize the cost of damage to the expensive parts. As well as fine-tuning the aero package, Kenworth also looked for ways of improving the efficiency of the powertrain. The Advantage package includes the latest version of the 12.9-liter Packard MX-13 engine, which Kenworth says is as much as 5% more fuel efficient than the previous version. The drivetrain also includes the Eaton Fuller automated Advantage 10-speed transmission, an optional 6x2 drive axle, and lightweight, fuel-efficient, wide-single tires. So up front here we've got Packard's MX-13 engine, 13 liters. It's uh, available in ratings of... Uh, up to 500 horsepower and 1,850 pound-feet of torque. That's big for a 13-liter, and it's about 300 pounds lighter than the 15-liter block that sometimes goes under this hood. So that's a big advantage in weight savings. What you won't see here up in the front is a clutch pedal linkage, because there's no clutch. This is the new Eaton Advantage automated transmission that's behind the MX-13. The clutch is actually electronically actuated, so there's no linkage that you can see here. There's no foot pedal inside. It's all done uh, electronically and automatically. The automated Advantage 10-speed is about 80 pounds lighter than other Eaton automated transmissions, and it boasts a couple of fuel-saving features of its own, including a new lubricating system that reduces parasitic drag caused by the gears churning through the oil in the transmission case. The gear ratios of the top two gears are closer together than the rest of the gears, and that helps keep the engine closer to its fuel economy sweet spot when it shifts between 9th and 10th. Have a look at our test drive video to see how the transmission performs in real-world driving conditions. And that brings us to the final fuel-saving feature of the T680, the rear axle. It's available in a 6x2 or 6x4 combination. This one's a 6x2. What you won't see here 
is an interaxial drive shaft. Nothing in there between the two axles because, well, there's no, uh, no drive gears back here. It's all driven from the front axle. This back one just goes along for the ride. Two reasons for that. It's quite a bit lighter by about uh, 400 pounds and it saves all the, uh, the gear meshing and churning losses in the rear axle and the cost of all the gears itself. These tires are the Bridgestone Great Tech model M835s. They're the Ecopia line of tires, which means they're uh, low rolling resistance tires to begin with. Because they're wide single tires, they're also about 800 pounds lighter, or about 400 pounds on the tractor, lighter than a set of uh, duals with steel wheels. So you've got a nice fuel efficient tire and you've got the weight savings. These have the uh, valve stem right here on the front so the drivers can fill and check the tire pressures really conveniently. These mount on the axle ends and uh, they're fairly light material. See through so you can see if you've got any oil leaks or any problems that might be occurring in there. And these are uh, Real Wheels Aero Covers. That's the brand. Pretty nice addition to the truck and they don't look that too bad either. I suppose before too long somebody's going to come out with a chrome one though. Kenworth has done quite a lot with the exterior and the powertrain of the T680 to squeeze out every last drop of fuel efficiency. But drivers will be pleased to hear the great T680 cab hasn't changed. It's still a really pleasant place to work. The interior of the T680 hasn't changed much in the two years it's been in production. How it got here is an interesting story. It's 83 inches or 2.1 meters wide. How do you get a number like that? Well, Kenworth went out and surveyed about 800 drivers and they gave them a mock-up of this cab which basically included a dashboard, the doors and the seats and they were all on little sliding levers so the drivers could sit in the driver's seat and then move all the sides of the truck, all the dimensions around them to where they wanted them, where they felt comfortable, where the armrest should be, where the steering wheel should be, where the dash panel should be. And for these 800 drivers that they surveyed to try and get a pretty good cross section of the population, they came up with this width. This was the most popular width amongst the drivers group they surveyed. So it's kind of midway between the, uh, the T700 wide cab and the T660 narrow cab. Right in the middle you've got the 680 with uh, 2.1 meters wide. In my opinion, a nice comfortable dimension for a cab. That's about it for the 680. Let's go carry on with our test drive. I'm Jim Park with today's Truckings Ultimate Test Drive.